Hey everybody, Cloudina9 here, and today I am doing a review on Jane Boolittle, daughter of Dr. Boolittle. So here I have one that I already unboxed. Um, she's probably the coolest monster idol ever. She's so interesting. Um, to be honest, I don't think she's the prettiest monster idol, but she really is very interesting and fun. Um, and so is her pet. Like I'll show you all the details. But so I basically just. You know, uh, I took off the top, and most for weird accessories, and, well, not weird, but interesting accessories, and, yeah, so, and then I, uh, washed her hair out, and it looks really pretty and curly, and, but it looks wet, so it doesn't really work, but I think it's pretty, and then, uh, yeah, that's basically her. So, here's the one that I still have in the box. Uh, you can find her at Toys R Us, um, for $21.99, but I actually got mine for $16. I don't know why, but I think it was like a sale because I got two. But yeah, so this is Jane. She is really cool. Her box. of telling him picture of the UPC and you bring it to the store, uh, they'll tell you if they have her or if any stores nearby have her, as long as it's the same store. So yeah, let's just take a quick look at the inside of her box, it's sort of like a jungle. It's really, really cool and really pretty. So yeah, it's, it's sort of three-dimensional also, like the power goal boxes, as you can see. And it's, it's really pretty, like I really love the jungle look, it's all red. And uh, if you notice there, her hair isn't exactly black, it's more like a blue. If you notice, uh, when you wash it out, it's a lot silkier looking. Like, that looks a little ratch, and this looks a little more shiny. It's still a little messy, but I don't know how to do doll hair. So, let's unbox her. And here she is, out of the box. So we're going to start with her accessories, as always. Um, so since I got two, I'm going to show you the extra accessories. But, we will start with her fabulous, her fabulous, freaky fabulous, pet, sloth. I forgot his name. <laughs> But yeah, this is her pet sloth. And uh, he clings to her back. And you could also wear it as a ring, I suppose. I'm going to wear it as a ring. And yeah, it's cool. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll go into more detail in a second. But um, you can basically put her on her back or like hang her from, or hang it. I don't know its gender. But you can hang it from the cane and stuff. He's really interesting. I think this is probably the cutest Monster High pet yet. He's also flexible and bendable. And the reason that is, is because uh, on the instructions it'll tell you this, but... Okay, so you see that in the back? Um, her purse, if you take her purse and you open it, there are three pieces of paper. Well, two, but I put one in already. Three pieces of paper. Yeah, my nails are really gross right now. But yeah, three pieces of paper with this like little jungle tree design and they're in her purse they look like little fortunes and then her cane if you take that out you can write on the note
Oh, I spelled what wrong. That's embarrassing. Okay, so it's a purple, by the way, and it just goes on and off like that. It's like a it's like a marker or a pen, whatever you want to call it, but it is a marker technically, but okay. So I put what's up. <laughs> and then you take her sloth, bend its head and arms, and squeeze it all together so that way the back opens. Pinch the paper so that it slides in. And, well, if I can get it in, it's supposed to go like this, and then it's sort of like a note. And then you can have it uh, on her back, and it'll have like, or you can like draw a map and have her look through the jungle, and then basically you take it out. Or you could pass a note. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so this is her staff, basically. It has different designs, and it looks like wood. It's really, it's really interesting and intricate and cool. <clears throat> All right, her shoes. One has a leg brace, and by, according to Garrett Sander and Mommy and Gracie's um, video, uh, she does not have a broken leg or anything. It's just part of her shoe. <clears throat> and then it has a skelet on it. Has some leaves. Has a heel. <clears throat> and this one is a snake, and it goes up in coils around her leg. Her tights are pretty basic. I mean, they're not even sewn at the bottom, which is okay, but I find that's a little dangerous. Like, the threads will come loose, but uh, it's jagged and cut jaggedly. Um, she has a tool. Not a tool. She has a tool, like, fabric, in that case, um, of a skirt. or like, And it's sort of ruffled, it's sort of poofy, not really ruffled. But. And then her belt. I think her belt is really, like tribe looking and I really like that about it so it's really cute it has three skelettes and and her purse and her staff which we've already seen she comes with two bracelets a red one and an aqua one and then she has a fishnet arm thingy <laughs> sorry I'm really bad at fashion terms right now um her squirt her her, her, her top has like a swirly design on it and uh, it's teal and lavender and then her necklace is red with uh, different designs in it it's also a neck brace or yeah or a choker she has faux fur on her sleeves and some and an arm type thingy majigger she has a feather earring with a bone in it And then on this side, she has a tooth. Her lip color is like a... Uh, what is that color? I know it. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's not lavender. It's more like a violet, but not even... More like plum. Yeah, like a plum color. Uh, she has tribal dots across her face. Her eyes are a beautiful blue. She has purple and pink eyeshadow with purple eyebrows. She has a headband with a butterfly or wings or feathers with a skull in the center on it. Her hair is basically up in a bump and a ponytail or a high pony actually. She does include a stand so I know people are worried about that. And under her shirt which I didn't really get to show you is sort of like the Cheshire type print which is uh, purple and lavender like a deeper purple and yeah, I'm really bad at reviews right now. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Uh, be prepared for more Mega Monster problems. I have a bunch coming up um, relating to Hotlywood, and there will be kidnapping and trials and tribulations. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you like Jane Belittle. You can, again, get her at Toys R Us for $21.99. Um, she may be at other stores, I don't know yet, but I got mine at Toys R Us. And, yeah, she's really fab. <laughs> So thanks for watching. Later!